This tutorial is for Excel Project 7. Go ahead and open Excel. And for this one, we are going to be using columns A through G. Uh, we're going to be formatting our numbers and using some basic formulas. We'll go ahead and start in cell A1 and key in your main heading. Be sure you turn your cap lock on. And then we have our subheading that goes in cell A2. Now remember we would like to keep one blank row above our column headings. Now if we look at our information very carefully, you'll notice that there is a blank row where we have the word income. The months that we're going to key in are actually on a row above the word income. So here on row 4, we're going to go to cell B4 and we're going to type in January and then do control enter. Now this is one that would count as a series. Uh, so we can use our fill handle to complete the rest of those months. So I'll grab my fill handle and drag over until I see June on my quick tips and then I can release. Now if you spell January wrong, your fill won't work. So be sure that you have January spelled correctly. Then in cell A5, we'll key in the side heading income. Then we have service fees, consultations, total income and then we want to leave a blank row because that's our top section and we're going to create a bottom section. So in cell A10 is where we'll put in expenses. All right, I'm adjusting column A so I can see things a little bit better. Now, when you go to key in your numbers, you want to be really careful. Make sure you have them on the correct rows. So our first number is going to go on row 6 next to service fees. And remember, you don't need to type in the comma. Or if there are zeros after the decimal place, you don't need to key those in either. Go ahead and pause your computer or pause the video at this point and finish keying in all of your data then restart your video. After you key in all of your information we're going to go ahead and do our calculations that need to be done to complete all of our data. So we're going to click in cell B8 and we need to calculate our total income which would be a sum of the items above. So we're going to come up and click on auto sum and then do control enter, grab your fill handle and carry that across to the remainder of the columns. Then we're going to come down here to total expenses. Total expenses is going to be a total from advertising down to other. So cell B, cells B11 through B15. If I click on auto sum where we added the extra space above advertising it does uh, go ahead and anticipate the correct cell references. So we can just do control enter, grab our fill handle, drag that across. Now for our net income, it tells us that our net income is going to be our total income minus our total expenses. So we're going to do equals, click on total income minus click on total expenses. So we end up with equals B8 minus B16. Do control enter to get your answer. Grab your fill handle and drag that across to the remainder of your columns. Now that we have the rest of our data in, we can go ahead and do our formatting. So we'll start at the top with our main heading. And be sure you merge and center that all the way through your last column, which is column G. Then our subheading should be merged and centered. Our column headings are on row 4. Go ahead and underline and center those. In cell A5 and in cell B10, or A10, we have what we are calling section headings or side headings. These are going to be formatted with bold, italics, and centered. So go ahead and click on the first one, hold down your control key and click on the second one so they're both selected at the same time. Go up and click on bold, click on italics, 
and then click on your center button. All of our numbers need to be formatted to currency with two decimals, so I'm going to highlight the upper section, hold down control, and then highlight the lower section so I have both sets highlighted at the same time. Go up to our number group and choose currency from our drop down. Make sure you have two decimal places showing. Now we are going to add some lines to this. It says to insert a single line under the consultations row. So I'm going to highlight that row, hold down control, and our other row and our total expenses. So I'm going to highlight all three of those and then come up to my border button and I'm going to choose just a bottom border. Now our totals row or our net income row that we have across the bottom, we're going to do a single top and a double bottom border. So if I click off of that you can see a single line under consultations, a single under other, a single under total expenses, and then a double under net income. Let's adjust our column widths next and center horizontally and vertically. We are going to change our orientation to landscape. Also turn on grid lines and add a header with our name, class period, and the name of our file. We will save this as Project 7A. Be sure you go into your Computer Tech folder and into your Excel folder. Name that Project 7A. And we'll do a print preview everything looks good. I don't believe we've run a spell check. So before I convert this to a PDF, I'm going to go ahead and run a spell check. Let me get out of my header. I just changed my view back to normal as well. Once your spell check is complete, be sure you uh, save again and then go to save and send, create PDF, leave the name the same, and then you can close that. We also need to submit a second file with this one that shows our formulas. So we are going to convert to text by holding down control and pressing our tilde button, which is the button right above your tab key. That shows our formulas. We need to adjust our columns again to make sure they fit. And another thing we're going to want to start doing to our projects is changing this so it fits to one page uh, automatically. And we can do that by going to Page Layout, go into the Page Setup group and click the Launcher. On the Page tab in the section called Scaling here, there's a Fit To option. If we just tell it Fit To One by One, then we are guaranteed that it will automatically make it only one page. And we want to do that on every project from now on just to be safe. I'm going to go to my Print Preview make sure I definitely have one page and that everything looks good and then go ahead and go to save as change the name to 7b and then convert it to a PDF and be sure you submit both A and B to Canvas.